you're going to notice that, that uh, uh, if you ever notice any of my tunes, maybe you do, maybe you don't, uh, none of the sections are more than 14 seconds long. And I will explain that now, because the way I write uh, a lot of stuff um, is by jamming with the looper. You know what I mean? I put a little set of chord changes in there and, uh, and jam over it. And hopefully I play a lot of crap. A lot, a lot, a lot of crap for several hours until all the crap is gone and I have some something worth listening to. You know what I mean? Um, and a lot of it kind of stems from practicing. You know, if there's something I'm not good at, you know, like a certain chord sequence that I'm not good at, um, I'll put it in the looper. I've been working on something. Um, uh, oh, see, I can't even play it. Look at that. I can't even play the chords. Never mind over them. So it's just four chords. So my practice thing might be. Now, I'm going to condense this down to a few minutes because I would go on for hours and hours and hours and hours like that. And working on, you know, melodic ideas that I transcribe perhaps. And hopefully, out of that would come a, a melodic phrase that would st that would stand on its own as a as a as a as a melody, you know, as a composition. Um, and that normally comes from playing the same thing over for me anyway. Comes from playing the same thing over each chord. So I might try and find one idea and play it over each chord. Um, <laughs> I'm not really feeling those ideas so much, but eventually one might stick. You know, uh, let me try and find one that I actually like. So maybe that would be the idea. And maybe I don't find it very musical to play the same thing over the each chord. That's just an exercise. But maybe I would like, I, I, maybe I think, okay, that's cool over one chord. Um, and I'd write that down in a book, one of hundreds, not hundreds, but like dozens of books, um, and put a date next to it and write the chord down that I liked and, and, uh, and leave it. And eventually it comes time to write an arrangement or compose some music for a film or TV or something or make a record for myself, go back to the book. Woohoo! It's like Christmas, you know? It's like <laughs> I've got 27,000 albums worth of music in there, you know what I mean, just with these short little phrases. And a lot of this record came about like that, like very, um, very short phrases. Um, in fact, this is probably a better, <laughs> it's better to make an example. Um, let's try it. down and the saxophone player plays a little bit, improvise, and then the bridge, instead of being minor, changes to major. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
released the album and I can't remember it already, but I think we, we put a harmony note in a something like that, you know, so uh, um, uh, so just, just layering things on top of each other. Uh, simple it's melodically pretty simple um, and the reason it came as a strong melody to me was because I was singing it a lot you know what I mean I would just find myself like walking the street driving the car singing that melody I say okay maybe this is the one you know what I mean? because you have so many options of melodies for that one chord sequence There's a million options you know you and you got to have to pick one otherwise the album <laughs> never comes out so uh, yeah so I, I, I guess that you know in, in some small part is is my process of composition. 